have the VP debate later this summer. Who's Kamala going up against? Trump says he has a pretty good idea who his VP pick will be. Here's the short list. Burgum, Rubio, Carson, Vance. Could be someone else. Johnny went to Point Pleasant Beach, New Jersey to see what those people think. Well, the problem with that, well, first off, you got to include every list. Or I should say on every list, you have to include Byron. In my humble opinion, Byron Donalds, in my opinion, is probably the best guy. Do y'all agree? Let me know in the comment section why or why not. Um, I, I've explained that in a previous video, but Byron, to me, is a guy that can lead the Republican Party. Yes, he's new to politics, but he's a no-nonsense type of guy. He don't take no crap, <laughs> right? Uh, in his own words, hey, I'm 6'2", 270. Ain't nobody telling me anything. I ain't, I ain't afraid of nobody, right? Um... And I feel like he's the most similar to what Trump is, right? Um, and I think a lot of people are attracted to that. Like, that's that's part of the attraction is who Trump is. And Byron is the closest to that. And he's no nonsense. <laughs> he ain't taking anything from anybody. So uh, Byron has to be on every, on every list for me, in my humble opinion. But do y'all agree? Let me know. Donald Trump on the hunt for a VP. What should he be looking for? Someone with grit who's not going to back down like Joe Biden. Common sense person. Maybe like a female. I hear them. I know. Who do you think it should be? Kevin Hart. I think he'd be an awesome candidate. Byron Donalds. Vivek Ramaswamy. Justin Bieber. Kanye West because he's a great rapper. <laughs> I love this guy right here. He's narrowed down his shortlist. Who is this guy? Justin Timberlake. <laughs> Gotta be Bill. Marco Polo. Marco Rubio. <laughs> what kind of vibes does this guy give you? He definitely works on Wall Street. Looks like a Biden guy. <laughs> he looks like he can make great mashed potatoes. He is so thirsty. Would he make a good- Bro, was that- is that like an inside joke that I'm not aware of? It said he looks like he makes great mashed potatoes. Like, that- that-, that, that if that's an inside joke, that one went over my head. If somebody could explain that one to me, please let me know what that was supposed to mean. Or if that was just, that just didn't make any sense at all to anybody. Uh, yeah, let me know. Because I feel like that, that's a joke of some sort and I'm just not in the know, <laughs> okay? Would he make a good vice president? He's got good policies. His parents are immigrants. From Florida, no taxes. Donald Trump used to call him a little Marco. I guarantee you there's no problem. I guarantee it. Who's this guy? Dr. Ben Carson. His name is Ben Franklin. I don't know. What kind of vibes does this guy give you? He knows what he's doing. Like a cool dad. Good lips. Would you kiss this guy? No. Then why are you looking at his lips? I don't even know. I don't kiss men, but I kiss him. If he's the vice president, how would you feel? I would feel safe. Trump would like him because he kind of stays out of the limelight. Trump Carson, how does that sound? Are they getting married? Uh, it's up to God. This guy does brain surgery. <laughs> Definitely needs to work on Joe Biden. They had to take the top of my head off a couple times. <laughs> See if I had a brain. Yeah. I don't... <sighs> I'm not the biggest fan of Ben Carson being a VP. Maybe there's something I'm missing. Y'all can let me know in the comment section. I'm Listen, y'all know I'm open to being wrong, right? I'm not saying that I'm a know-it-all. But I, I, I just don't see it with Ben. And honestly, right now, at this current point in time, I don't see the attraction to Ben Carson as like a VP. Like, I'm not saying he's a terrible guy or anything like that. That's not what I'm saying. But as a VP... I don't see it. Could he be in Trump's administration? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Um, but I just think he's too soft-spoken, you know, to be a VP for Trump, right? When you're going to be attacked left and right. I, I, I just don't... I, I, me, personally, I don't see it. But maybe one of y'all can convince me to change my mind on something. Maybe, like I said, maybe there's something I'm, I'm missing about uh, Dr. Ben Carson. Like I said, I'm... I'm not saying he's a terrible guy. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying he would even be a traitor to, you know, uh, Trump in uh, his administration or anything like that. I just, one of the main things is I just feel like he's too soft-spoken, you know? Like, he doesn't have that, 
He doesn't have the same thing that Byron has. Like, Byron, like, he's going to come at you, like, full force. Not physically, obviously, but verbally, you know, like, he, he's not going to take any crap. I don't, I don't see Ben as that guy, you know? But I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's a good thing that he isn't that type of guy. I, I don't know. What, what do y'all think? Let me know. <laughs> see if I had a brain. Left to the left. Who's this guy? Looks like his name would be Scott. Uh, Ryan Reynolds Buffett. And I swear. His name is J.D. Vance. What kind of vibes does this guy give you? Manly. He's got a good beard. Do you think this guy would make a good vice president? He's, he's passionate. He's well, not known enough. This guy's not even 40 yet. Is that a good thing? We need some younger people in office. We need to keep TikTok too. Biden wants to get rid of it. Kick him out. <laughs> He's leaving. He's going to go. What about this guy? That's Bill Nye, the science guy. Uh, Doug Burgum. What state do you think he's the governor of? Well, before we get too deep into this, J.D. Vance is probably my number two choice. J.D. Vance. But who's your number two? Well, I, I guess I should ask. Who's your number? Who? Who? Who's, who, who? <laughs> wow. I'm not even going to edit that out. I had a Joe Biden moment. <laughs> Go, 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 you know the thing. <laughs> I'm not even going to edit that out. But um, all seriousness, who's in your top three? Wow. Ah, I can't believe that just happened. Incredible. Incredible. All right. Let me know your top three, okay? <laughs> uh, Argentina. What a stupid son of a bitch. What kind of vibes does this guy give you? Strict dad vibes. Does America need a strict dad right now? Yes. Those blue eyes are just, they're just, I feel like they're staring directly into my soul. <laughs> Donald Trump says he's a very rich man. Rich men are good. Smart might teach me something. Do you think he'd make a good vice president? Need a little action. He's not enough action for me. You're not getting enough action? Nah, I'm not getting enough action. <laughs> faster, faster! <laughs> Joe Biden picked a woman. What's her name? Kamala Harris. We did it, Joe! <laughs> We did it, Joe. Do you think the Democrats are just dragging Joe Biden across the finish line to put Kamala in office when he wins? But Joe Biden looks like he's going to fall dead any moment, so... Look, I'm very young, energetic, and handsome. What the hell am I doing this for? Big primetime fan? Primetime? What you mean? Jesse Waters primetime. You're going to be on his show. Hey, guys. What up? What up? Jesse! I love you. Ah! The problem with talking about Kamala and the VP debates is that she may not be in that position anymore. You know, um, there's been a rumor that they're going to replace Joe Biden or at least try to get him to walk away. And this is what and I had been saying this and you can go back to the videos and, and see. Just the sense that I was getting, the feeling that I was getting, of course, they of course, their words are something different. Of course, they always said, oh, no, Joe's fine. He's great. Joe's our candidate, blah, blah, blah. Of course, they're going to say that. But just the vibe, you know, that I was getting and, and seeing in the videos and everything, the clips and everything else, I knew the establishment does not want Joe Biden. And I'm almost positive. I don't have any evidence of this. I don't have any inside information, but I'm almost positive that they went to him a while back and tried to get him to walk away and he wouldn't. And I think Jill Biden has a lot to do with that. And they really want him to walk away now. And they're hoping, they're hoping that these debates go absolutely terrible for him so they can really have a reason to try to really, uh, you know, convince them to walk away. But Joe and Jill really don't want to leave. They don't want to give up that position, at least not yet. <clears throat> and um, I think that's why you're seeing these debates, or at least this debate, happen so, so early. Because you typically wouldn't see a debate this early in the election cycle. Like, yes, 
we we're, we're five months away, but you typically wouldn't see it until a little bit later, until we get a little bit closer to election time. But I think that's being done on purpose. One reason is they're hoping Joe stumbles and they want to give themselves time to replace him. But what do y'all think? What do y'all think? Uh, let me know in the comment section. But that that's always been my speculation. And now the rumors are flying around that that story is actually true. You know? Um, and I've said it in previous videos. Y'all y'all know that. Y'all can pull up the videos right now. Okay? I couldn't, tell you, I couldn't tell you exactly which specific video. But I brought it up in the past before. That I think it's, it's Joe who doesn't want to walk. Well, Joe and Jill who don't want to walk away. The establishment wants them to. But they're, they're saying no. They're not just going to just walk away. And the establishment can't force them, force them out. They have to willingly walk away and make an announcement on their own. But they won't do it. But hey, y'all let me know your thoughts, your opinions on that in the comment section. Uh, if you think uh, he'll, he will be replaced or you think he won't. Honestly, I, th <sighs> I don't know. Part, part of me thinks that Trump should make Joe Biden look somewhat okay, right, in the debates, just so he stays, just to give him a reason to stay, so the Democrat establishment doesn't get what they want. But then, of course, you know, leftist media is going to, you know, uh, uh, really prop him up and make it make him look even better, right, and, and make Trump look worse. Oh, see, uh, Trump lost a debate. He's in mental decline, blah, 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 you know. So that's also a dangerous thing. But how, how do y'all feel about it? How, how should Trump navigate that situation? Because if you obliterate him, um, then he's most definitely getting replaced. And do I think someone else could beat uh, Trump? No, but now you've introduced a whole different variable into the equation, uh, right before an election. And this is very important right now. We have, we have a known, we, or at least we know pretty much almost with 100% certainty. I feel what's going to happen in this coming election. Joe's going to lose. So in my mind, you would want to keep Joe, right? We know we, we we know we got him cornered. You throw somebody else in the ring, and it's like, uh, more than likely we will have them cornered too. But now they may have a fighting chance, you know. So it's like, do you just go out there and destroy them, or do you kind of just uh, we gonna let them live, you know, verbally, verbally, not physically. I'm not talking about physically harming anyone. Okay, so nobody twists my words. All right, but how do y'all feel? Let me know. Peace and love. I'm out.